Cam in Detroit, you and your line mates, uh, a big part of that game. And, you know, you've been consistent all year long. All of a sudden, Brandon Dubinsky, Boone Jenner starting to get back to looking like their normal selves. What, is there anything that's triggered that, or is it just um, they're getting back into their comfort zone? Uh, I don't know if anything's triggered it. I think it just has a lot to do with uh, working hard, and not that they haven't worked hard. It's uh, it's just when to work hard and when not to work hard, really. And uh, it shows right now that they're playing with a lot of confidence with the puck and making plays. And I think that's the biggest thing uh, for both of them is making plays. And for you, you always know they're going to be there playing defensively. They're going to be playing physical. Once they're starting to make their plays again, how much easier does that make your job, too? Yeah, it's great. I mean, we played together all last year, so they know – you know, my style of play, where I'm going to be in the ice. And, um, you know, when they're both working hard down low, I just try to open uh, open some room up for them and uh, try to get in those little areas where I could get the puck and hopefully shoot. So uh, we've been doing a pretty good job, and hopefully we could continue. I guess a pretty good example of that would have been your goal the other night, the second goal of the game. You have it, you give it to Brandon, he quickly gets it right back to you, and you know it's time to shoot then. Yeah. Um, you know what, uh, when I was racing to the puck, um, I knew it was a two-on-two, two, and then I heard uh, Doobie just say 3-3, three, three. so I did that cut back, gave it to him, and um, he gave it to me. I faked the shot, and uh, you know the, their D-man and their goalie bit and just shot it as fast as I could, and, and, and so it was good. How happy are you with your season personally so far this year? Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely been a, a good season so far. Uh, obviously, there's always room for improvement. Um, I'm just happy that I'm, I've been playing a little more consistent this year, and <clears throat> pucks are starting to go in a little more for me, so um, it all it all stems from hard work. So I got to keep it going. That trip to the All Star game, how much of a shot in the arm with confidence did that mean for you? Yeah, it's it's uh, it definitely gives you a little bit of confidence, just knowing that uh, you know you're playing with the best players in the world. You're selected, and obviously I wasn't uh, first ballot, but uh, it was still good to be there. And um, you know, it's that's what my game's all about: playing with confidence and. Um, it, it definitely helps. And I'm asking you that because I saw an NHL Network last night, just a half-hour program on the whole All-Star game, and I'm watching you with Snoop Dogg and Mario <laughs> Lemieux and all these guys, and then watching the way that you've come back and played, just, just I don't know, you said, no offense, you look a little taller since you came back here <laughs> uh, from the All-Star game. Just like, does it give you more of a sense that, hey, you know what, I do belong in this league, and I do belong in the upper echelon of this league? Absolutely. I think that's uh, the main thing is I definitely do belong, and, uh, I definitely deserve to be there and um, you know it's just part of the year that you're having and um, you know it's obviously there's 30 more games left so it's it's definitely it's definitely nice to, to get the opportunity and to obviously showcase your skills and, and stuff like that and um, looking forward to the next 30 games. Vancouver here tonight last time you played them it was a hard-fought battle you guys got the win in their building in overtime but uh, it was the first team in a long time that gave you trouble in the third period on that particular day and you fought through it how tough is this team to play against yeah they're uh, they got some good skill and uh, obviously a good goaltender so um, I remember that game pretty vividly and we just had a couple of mental breakdowns in the third where they you know we were up and then they, they caught up and uh, they tied it up I think with I don't know, a minute left in the game so uh, at the end of the day we found a way to get the job done but uh, you know you have to pl obviously play a full 60 against this team because um, you know they take advantage of your missed opportunities. How do you defend against the Sedins when it appears as though they have telepathic power sometimes? <laughs> yeah they're obviously uh, unbelievable together uh, it's no secret uh, just have to play hard on them.